Hello, welcome to Rybrook Jaguar in Warrington, Jason Courtney speaking. Here we have for you today a Jaguar X-Type. This is the 2.5 V6 SE Automatic Saloon, therefore it is the four-wheel drive version. As you can see, the registration number of this vehicle is YK57UZP. This car has covered only 57,872 miles. It's a one-owner car from brand new with service history. With it being the SE version, we do have very high spec. It has satellite navigation, it has heated front seats, it has front and rear parking sensors, we've got nice alloy wheels, we also have the champagne leather trim as well. It is the five-speed automatic gearbox, uh, and as you can see, it's finished in Jaguar Racing Green with barley trim, which is possibly, quite possibly, the best colour uh, that Jaguar do, and it certainly suits this car down to the ground without a doubt. There are one or two marks on this car, but I will run through that with you in a second. So just to give you a good idea, obviously, of, uh, of exactly what, car this, what this car requires, I beg your pardon. So, we will start off on the offside front wing, as we always do. That front wing is pretty much perfect. I think there's probably one or two ever so slight scratches on there, but they are only surface scratches, so they will just polish out. As you can see, that wheel will require refurbishment, but that front tyre is fine. That tyre is on around four millimetres, so that tyre is absolutely fine. There is a slight scuff on the mirror cap. I think that will polish out. Just looking down both of these doors, there are one or two marks, particularly on this offside rear door. As you can see, there's one or two light scratches on there. Now, most of those will polish out because you can't get your fingernail in them. I think it actually looks worse than what it is. So that offside rear uh, door and rear wing uh, will require some uh, buffing on there. There are one or two chips on this door edge, as you can see there. And we've also got one or two chips on that, uh, that door strip as well. So just a, a little bit of TLC required on those doors. Yeah, we've got a couple of scratches there, just at the bottom of the door as well, so uh, I dare say that section there will, will require a little bit of paintwork. Like I say, same on this offside rear wing. We have got a slight scuff right on the edge, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get to. Uh, a local smart repair will sort that out for sure. That rear tyre, again, great tread depth on there, we're looking around 5mm, but as you can see, that wheel, again, will require a refurbishment. Look at the back of the car, like I say, it is the 2.5, quite a rare car, and it is the all-wheel drive, so let's get ready for, uh, for winter. So we have got reversing sensors, that rear boot looks absolutely fine. We have got one or two slight marks on that rear bumper, and there is a scuff on this corner as well. So again, maybe a local smart repair will, uh, will, will sort that bumper out, so let's have a look. So we've got, as you can see, we do have two keys for this car. Let's pop the boot open and have a look. So in there we've got the Jaguar screen wash and then underneath here as you can see we do have the spare wheel with a brand new tyre and we do have the locking wheel nut key as well and as you can see there we have the disc for the navigation and we also have a 6 CD changer and the cartridge is in the boot as it should be as you can also see we do have a 70-30 split folding rear seat so another great option to have coming down this near side Started off on this near side rear wing. That wing looks pretty much perfect. There's no heavy scratches, no dents on that rear wing. Again, this near side rear tyre. Again, all these tyres on this car are, are, are great, to be fair. That's probably on best part of 5mm, as you can see. But again, that wheel will require a slight refurbishment. We'll just have a look down the doors. There's no, there's no dents on that door, which is great. And those doors, as you can see, look pretty perfect. Apologies for my reflection. Uh, you can see there that that mirror cap, that will require a smart repair. There's a few scuffs on that mirror cap. Look at this near side front wing, that wing's absolutely fine. And again, that will, will require a refurbishment. As you can see, it's just nicked the tie there as well. Um, but I dare say that that is only, yeah, it is only very thin, so it won't need a near tie. Maybe just a little bit of glue just to, 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 to put that right. So this car, all four tyres are fine but all four wheels will require refurbishment. So looking at the front of the car, it will require a new number plate because it's cracked. Also the actual housing around the number plate is cracked as well, so that will need to be replaced, but they're not expensive. Uh, on the bonnet, we have got one or two stone chips on the bonnet. Some have already been touched in, but as you can see there, we have got a couple of slight stone chips. A couple of stone chips there, as you can see as well. So they are only minor. If it was me, I probably would just touch those in just to take your eye off them a little bit. So apart from that, on the outside, it's a really nice clean car. Let's have a look inside. 
sorry, just drop the key. So like I say, we have got the barley leather trim, which is a, a champagne coloured. As you see, we do have the overmats in there as well. So these seats will require a little bit of a clean, certainly nothing major. I think inside it certainly doesn't smell of smoke, doesn't smell of, of pets or anything. So inside those rear seats look like potentially they've never been sat in. My boss there getting his lunch. And, and uh, look at this driver's seat, as you can see, it is showing a little bit of wear, certainly nothing serious. So again, just a good clean on the inside. We'll certainly see this car absolutely perfect. We do have power folding door mirrors, obviously electric mirrors and all four electric windows as well. We've got the automatic headlights and a trick computer as well. So let's jump aside and start the car up. So just while I'm showing that, like I say, it is the automatic gearbox version. As you can see there, auto. And then we do have the all important satellite navigation. This navigation is fantastic. If you're not aware of this particular one, uh, it does use seven digit postcode. So it will take you literally straight to the door. And we do also have Bluetooth telephone connectivity as well. Like I say, we have got a six CD changer and we also have heated front seats as well. With it being the SE, we do have the real veneered wood. And like I say, the mileage of this car is very low. It's 50, excuse me, it's 57,872 miles. And as you can clearly see, there are no warning lights on this car. Just to let you know as well, we do have obviously the steering wheel controls and we also have cruise control as well. Vitally important, I think, for, a, for, an, for any automatic car. So like I said, on the inside, needs a little bit of a clean, certainly nothing major, but, but all in all, a great condition car. So we have the MOT for the car. So the expiry date on that is the 26th of the 8th, 2016. It is a contingency MOT certificate, which would suggest that, um, that, that Vosa's uh, website was down, which is why it had to be printed and or sort of written out as well. But as you can see there, it's uh, got a great, great MOT on there. We do also have the book pack as well, which is here. We have the registration document, so YK57UZP, and there are no previous owners. This car is a one owner car from brand new. And like I say, it was registered on the 11th of September 2007, and it's the 2.5 V6 SE Auto Saloon. With regards to service history, again, some great service history. We have Jag six Jaguar stamps, so six main dealer Jaguar stamps, as you can see, up to 2013. And then the last two have been done by a local, uh, a local company in Oldham. Uh, the last service was done on the 26th of July 2015, so only three months ago, at 56,571. So this car's literally done 1,200 miles since its last service. So great MOT, great service history, great ownership with it being one lady owner from new. Uh, like I say, a little bit of uh, preparation work on the outside, and this will be a stunning car. So, uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call. I'm on 01925 247 900, and thanks for watching.